Hi, this is Mr. Dubchuk, and I would like to show you how to flip through a list of questions in App Inventor. Um, one thing that I see a lot is groups trying to make an app that has questions, and you keep going to the next question, the next question, the next question, but the way you're doing it is you're making one question per screen, and you keep going from one screen to the next. When you do that, you're going to wind up going through a lot of the same repetitive work and you're going to wind up with a ton of screens. Here I'll show you a way to do it with just one screen using lists. Here's how I've set up this screen. I have a label. I've named it question label because remember we always name our components to describe what the component is for. And I have a next button and I'll use that button to take me to the next question. Um, so I haven't really put any text in my question label yet but I have changed the text property of the button just to say next question. All right, on my blocks, what I'm going to need is a list, a list of questions. Questions are stored or lists are stored in a variable. So I'm going to start a new variable. I'll call it question list. You can call it something else if you think that's appropriate. <laughs> Initialize means when this starts. So when the screen loads, it will make a variable called question list. And then what we'll need is make a list. And I can have as many items as I want, anywhere between two to a million. Um, that doesn't matter. So we'll make a list and then I need a question for each one of my list items. Here was a Declaration of Independence signed. Just get a couple more in here. His first president. Uh, two more. There we go. Answer to that question is Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson wrote most of it, and it was the room that said, oh yeah, good job, Tom, we like this. All right, so I have my questions now. You can have as many as you want. I recommend starting with just a few to make sure that it works, and then you can add more later. All right, <coughs> one thing when it comes to understanding lists is uh, there's a key term called the list index. The list index is what spot you're at in the list. So this is list index one, list index two, list index three, list index four, list index five. We need a new variable that we will use to keep track of what spot we're at in the index. So I'm going to call it list index. And when the screen opens, I want my list index to be 1, so I can start at the first question. <laughs> okay, now I want to take my question label, and I want my question label to say the question. So I'm going to set my question label text property. Now what you're probably used to doing is doing this, right? Okay, you're probably used to doing that, setting your question label to the text. Um, but we're not going to do this anymore. I'm going to take this out. What I want to do is tell the question label text to display the first item on my list. So I'm going to come to my list here, and I will grab. There's a lot of things here that look similar, so make sure you grab the right one. I'm going to do index in select this is the one I want. Select list item. Boom, there. Now I've got two things I need to attach to that. Which list? I want it from my question list. And my index? 
I could put a number in there, but this is going to be changing through my program. So I will use my list index variable. Okay, so select item in my question list. Which item? The first item. That's what that's pointing to. Okay. Um, but then I need to figure out when will this happen? Well, that will happen right when the screen loads. So I'm going to come to when screen one initialized. Okay. So when the screen pops up, set my question label text to the first item in my list. Boom. Now I need to program my next button so that I can go to the next item in the list. So I have here, when my next button is clicked, what needs to happen? Well, what needs to happen is I need to, I need to add one to my list index. So if I'm on one, I need to go to two. So to do that, I'm going to set list index to need to add one to list index plus one. Okay, so what this will do is it will add one to that number. And then I can take this and copy and paste it. I just did control C and control V there. But that's the same thing. So add one to my list index and now pull up from my question list whatever my list index is. So if I was at one, now it'll, this sets it to two and it will pull up the second item on my list. Let's see here. Boom, 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 okay? <laughs> However, I need to make sure that I don't go past five because I only have five items on my list. So after I get through five, um, maybe you don't want to do this, I'm going to go back to item number one. Maybe you want something else to happen after five. So if you want something else to happen, maybe ignore this part. But um, I'm going to show you how to make it go back to one. So I need, an, I need a conditional here. And I'm going to say if equal sign if my list index equals five, I want it to go back to one. And that is set list index to one. Okay, now I should see, once I get to how many amendments are in the constitution, that's list index five. Now I am at list index one. One, two, three, four, five, one. That's not it, sorry. Three, four, there's five. Now I'm back at one. Who was the first? Well, anyway, it's doing the right thing. I'm just tired and not getting my numbers right. But that's what's going on with our list index. So. That is how to make questions go from one question to the next only using one screen.